welcome again this tutorial on cac php belongs to relation so let's go so we already given tutorial on has one and has many if you go in cac php documentation here you can see that there has four types of associate association that's called has one has many belongs to and belongs to many we already given tutorial on has one and has many the example was uh, the users this is the users table and this user has one profiles that was the has one example and another uh, tutorial that i have already given this user has multiple skills that call has many skills so this tutorial on belongs to so if you see in here the has one means one to one relation has many means one to many relationship and belongs to means many to one so if you go in here you can see that in here the user has has many skills like that so belongs to just opposite of uh, has many for example the the c plus plus and java these uh, skills belongs to an user and the user id is three like that so here c plus plus and java is many skill belongs to an user and this is the user id like three so what uh, what we have to do when we will uh, how to how you'll fetch the user information uh, from a skills table for example i need to uh, create a list uh, or a template for my skills table and i want to um, access the users information from a skills table so in here in our output we already access uh, uh, the user uh, mobile number that's we actually fetch it from profile table and here is the skills that we have actually fetched from uh, skills table and that two things that we have did from users table but in this scenario we have to do it from skills table so from skills table we actually uh, we will fetch the user information so what i am going to do i'm just going in here and opening my terminal in here and you can just go in bean folder so i'm just going in cd bean now you just need a give a common cag back all skills like that so you can do it or if you have a prefix like i have a prefix called admin so i will do it in uh, admin prefix but you have if you have no any prefix then you you just need this command just hit on enter that it will work like that but what i am going to do i'm just giving here a cag back uh, model skills i'm just creating the model first So after create the model i'm just creating the controller in my admin prefix so i'm just giving here cag back uh, then uh, that's called controller then prefix admin and the name of my controller that will be skills or name of my table that is skills and after hit on enter uh, the controller has already created the last thing that uh, i want to do the template sorry it will be same i just need to change it in controller to template so template prefix admin skills so template also has been created in here this is skills admin and there is the skills so i have just created this uh, all code in my admin prefix without the model so let's go in here let's give in the skills in here don't worry i will discuss the uh, i will describe the code i will describe the code i just uh, generate the code using the cag by common so this undefined variable username actually come here because uh, and closing the command first and opening my controller and that is the admin controller and this skills controller in here and you can see the admin prefix 
that we have to use here because we have used the controller app controller from admin prefix here so I'm just changing the users like this so I save if you go reload then it will be it will disappear okay like that so you can see this is the user and you can see the user ID in here if you go in here and click on this variables you can see the skills and this is the skills first skills C++ and this is the user information and you can see this is a uh, like a has one data like user information you are seeing in here so let's see the code first so I'm just going in my uh, table so here is the model here is the table and here is the skills table so if you see in here you can see there have, they have used a belongs to method in here this belongs to and given the users the name of your um, model and then name of your table and then um, they have given the foreign key that they have used the users id user id uh, and jo join type they have mentioned the inner join that means if the data uh, in boot table uh, has common then it will be fetch your data it will uh, not fetch data if there is uh, no relation between two table uh, so this is the inner type that have given it here this is the belongs to method there you you have to write your belongs to method like that and then you if you go in your skills controller and if you go in your index.php you can see this the contain used like this they have just uh, we already know that for fetch the associative data we have to use that contain and they just uh, uh, you given here the users this users actually come from here this users and this users they have contained the users data so for that we are able to see the users information in here so now you can see I am just seeing here the ID that we are seeing in here so if you want to fetch a name then you can do it in your template so i'm just going in my admin skill and index.php in here and then i'm just changing here the skills user i think you already know that how you, they have access here so if you go again here this is the skills so they have write the skill variable in here and this is the user this user and this is the id they have written so we have to just fetch here the username or email anything you can just uh, access in here like i'm changing the id to username so after save so after save if you go and reload your page you will see the username now so this is the mini to one relation that called belongs to relation association tech page page that is skill as an user that we have fetch in here from a skills table we have fetched the user completely opposite of has many like or has one so so this is the tourist tutorial thank you for watching uh, welcome for the next tutorial